you're all set. All right. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, I'm calling the meeting to order, the Equal Rights Commission meeting. It's Thursday, March 9th, um, 2023. It's now 5.36 p.m. Um, first thing that I'm going to do, um, note that we do have some people on Zoom. Um, so if you guys can't hear us, let us know. Um, raise your hand or just um, say something in the chat, and Joe will try to figure it out. Um, but um, I'm going to take roll call right now. So if you're here, just say aye or here. Um, Commissioner Guzman? Here. Um, Alder Hutchison? Here. Um, Commissioner Vincent? Here. Commissioner Ortiz? Um, Commissioner um, Kostishka? Here. And then there are three absent um, commissioners, Marcus Greeno, John Shelton, and Zaid Hassan. And not too sure. Um, we'll see if Christina joins us online later on. All right. All right. So after that, um, I'm going to move. Okay. So to agenda item C, um, before we make a motion to approve the agenda, I actually want to make a motion to amend the agenda to add a chair's update for informational. Um, so I'm going to make a motion if someone can second that. Second. Okay. Thank you. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All aye. opposed. Hello. Hey. Hi. Welcome. Come on in. Hi. Commissioner Ortiz just joined us for those who are online. I don't know if you guys can see the whole table. I think they can. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, they can, they can see okay, I see. I was looking around, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Perfect. Okay, so we just took roll call, um, and then we're on agenda item C, um, approval of the agenda, but I made a motion to amend the agenda, um, the agenda item F, um, and we got a second that was approved. Um, I actually wanted to add to Agenda F um, a chair's update. And that, that could be number three, and then we can move number four down to the next April Rights Commission meeting. Okay, um, so now can I get a motion to approve that? I move. Okay, second? Second. Perfect. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, aye. please say nay. Okay. Uh, the agenda stands approved. Next agenda item, we're going to um, look for a motion to approve the minutes from the April Rights Commission meeting on January 16th, 2023. That was the MLK Day event that we hosted. Move to approve. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. All right, so that stands approved. Um, we don't really have any regular business to discuss today, so um, we're just going to move over to agenda uh, item F which is informational. And um, what I was hoping is to update everyone on um, the housing initiative. So um, obviously everyone was in attendance um, at the MLK Day event, and we were able to have city council move the report forward to um, have staff, the staff, not staff, <laughs> have staff um, work on um, the, the recommendations. And so where they're at right now, um, or the, the committee that is in charge of the report right now is the, um, let me see, the Protection and Policy Committee, Joe, yep, is that correct? correct. Mm -hmm. um, so Joe and Cheryl, she is the Deputy um, Director for Development. Um, mm -hmm. She, Joe and Cheryl met with um, the Protection and Policy Committee to um, ask, you know, their input. And so I'm gonna let Joe kind of just speak on that just yep. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was, um, not this Monday, but the Monday prior, the Protection Policy Committee met. Um, there were a lot of questions just kind of about um, who was interested, you know, what the next steps were for staff, and staff communicated to the committee that a lot of members of the, I shouldn't say maybe a lot, but there are several members of the public that have reached out to staff um, asking if they can be involved and um, provide their input. We've met with other community partners on gathering their input as well for uh, moving forward with the recommendations and the report. Um, so then, uh, on Tuesday, the Common Council then moved to um, refer to staff to work on any of the issues that were in the report or issues that are coming up from um, the community, and then provide a plan to the Common Council for our uh, recommendations moving forward. So right now, obviously, we're focusing on the immediate recommendations, which every single person we've talked to has been very much on board with uh, landlord and tenant education, which is really good, a really good start. And then. Um, when we get moving forward with the intermediate and long-term recommendations, that's where I think we'll probably gather 
whether it's a task force or a subcommittee, maybe on some of those um, specific recommendations that have people really focus on that. But right now, I think we have a good start with the media recommendations, and we're just going to continue to work with staff and other agencies on the recommendations for long term to, to move forward. Thanks, Joe. That's good. So um, how we're going to move forward with this is we're going to appoint um, a person from our commission to continue to monitor the work that Joe and Cheryl and the staff are doing um, to make sure that we're getting some traction and movement on that. And John Shelton has um, volunteered for that. Unless anyone else wants to participate as well, please feel free to volunteer. Um, the, the more the better, I guess, in, in this situation. And so, um, yeah, that, that's where we stand right now. Um, I believe Joe also brought up the idea of meeting with the Fair Housing Coalition, which I think, you know, if we have a point person to meet with them and that point person will come back with the key key highlights of that conversation, I think that would work best um, for us, um, unless anyone has any other opinions or input on that. Sounds good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right, and then I just wanted to share a little bit about the public comments. We did receive a few people who came uh, or who wrote in and wanted to support um, our work. So I just want to share that real quick. Um, I don't have them memorized, but <laughs> I have the screenshot, so I'm just going to briefly read it to everyone. So this one says, thank you for your efforts. Um, as you continue to look at the issue in the greater Green Bay area, please consider people with mental disabilities and also experiencing, who are also experiencing inequality in the housing market. My son is going to be 50 years old, diagnosed with schizophrenia, um, and he was diagnosed when he was at the age of 13. They've been looking into alternative housing options for him as he ages, and he currently lives in an apartment, but there are so few options for him out there. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. Tara, mm -hmm. so did they send this to, the, to, 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 to an email that the commission has? Or how, how do you receive these uh, comments from, from the public? That's a good question. So what I believe these came through was um, when you look into the agenda um, mm -hmm. site, there's like a public comment um, space or link that you can click, and I believe they submitted through that. And then uh, and somebody from here forward. And it goes to city staff. Okay. Yep. And then um, whoever that went to in the city staff will send it to Joe, since okay. Joe's a staff member that is facilitating mm -hmm. our ERC group. Okay. And then Joe will share it with All me, right. Hutchison, okay. and us as a group. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I, I was thinking, but did they call you home or whatever <laughs> <laughs> people to, yeah, to, to let you know what they think, right? Yeah. So I was afraid of that. I did bring that up to Joe. Um, mm -hmm. I know I did put my phone and my email, my personal email out there publicly when we hosted a few events, which I was okay with. But then after I got one or two emails with some concerning mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. I did, you know, I do like have that hesitancy mm -hmm. of giving out my personal information. So that's a really great point to make. <laughs> All right, so that was the, the first one. And the second one um, that we received through the city um, website was, um, it says, I'm in favor of the recommendations to promote, promote equal housing opportunity in Green Bay as an information and assistance specialist for the Aging Disability Resource Center, so ADRC, right downtown. We run into many roadblocks while working with low income and our homeless individuals to find housing due to limited availability of affordable and high quality housing. There are not enough affordable, good quality housing for low income individuals. I agree with the Equal Rights Commission. I hope everyone will, will consider the recommendations. Um, and then um, Casa Alba, I met them at a few events um, that was hosted. Um, the executive director and some of their members, staff members, um, recommended to their members to reach out to me about some issues, some eviction issues that they were um, facing. Um, however, we, unfortunately, as the ERC, what's written in the ordinance, we are not um, our responsibility is not to um, find resolutions for mm -hmm. complaints. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, um, you know. Unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate yeah. for us. But um, I sent that over to, to Joe and, um, yeah. And then I also ca called Casa Alba um, directly just to see how I can support them as an advocate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, it was in a similar situation as John and Saeed. If you guys remember when Saeed had an issue with the landlord yeah. or management company, John stepped in and represented um, Saeed's yeah. organization. So that's what I was supporting Casa Alba mm -hmm. in doing. Um, all right, and then we received a letter from an elderly lady. She's on the, in the suburbs of the Greater Green Bay um, area, and she wrote in and she said that as an el elderly person, it's really hard to find um, affordable housing, especially you know she's especially since she's a widow now and she doesn't have steady income. 
so I did receive a letter like that, um, and I still have to give that to you. Yeah, that's uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we received one negative, well, I received through my personal email, a negative email, which was saying um, she was hoping that people, we limit the resources we, we give to people um, and based on how many kids they have. So say we, we cut the math at three kids, that's all the resources that we'll, you know, we'll give. That's what she was recommending. Um, so I shared that with Joe, but yeah. that's out of our hands right now. So. Of course. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that, just to let you guys know that the effort that we're putting into the housing initiative, um, it's reaching a lot of people and community members out there. So um, be proud of the work that we're doing. All right, so then next, um, organizations that have reached out that I've met with recently, um, First, um, the Green Bay Blueprint, which was a coalition that was between um, United Way, Brown County, the city of Green Bay, um, and the Greater Green Bay Community Foundation. They, um, the Greater Green Bay Community Foundation, um, they funded a, uh, like a countywide study about the housing crisis in, in the county, and they put together 90 different recommendations. And some of the recommendations that they wrote, we actually took that and put it in our housing report. Mm -hmm. So it was a really important meeting to go back to them and let them know this is you know, the next steps, this is how we're going to move forward with those recommendations. Um, and so her name's Lydia, Joel, I don't know if you've met her yet, but Lydia does want to get in touch with you and share, so I'll connect you guys. Um, and then the Chief of Population Health from Bellin, she's new in her position, she wants to connect more and engage more with the community, so um, she's looking to get involved. Habitat for Humanity, um, Jessica, she's the executive director for Habitat for Humanity. She's looking to actually meet more community members who are in need of housing because they're gonna have 14 new houses that can be built, but they don't have um, applicants that are ready for that. So she's looking to get connected. Um, and then Brown County United Way, they were a huge part of the survey, um, administering the, the survey and funding it. And so United Way, they, I'm meeting with them next week just to see how they would like to get involved. Um, but That's great. yeah, so lots of community partners who are reaching out and they're already, they've already done groundwork and they're doing great work. Um, we're, not, we're not recreating the wheel by any means. All we're doing is just highlighting their work mm -hmm. and making some momentum, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And there is an announcement for that new uh, uh, apartment complex that is going to be affordable housing next to is high school, and I think United Way is going to have their offices there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I believe that was just announced um, yeah. a week mm -hmm. or two yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 So that's. I mean, I think that this city is demonstrating also mm -hmm. uh, concern. You know that, that that this is an issue. Yes. So yeah. I mm. did they host their press press conference here? I don't know. Oh okay. I th I thought I remember um, Ahmad saying that it was hosted here or something. It was in a, I read it in the newspaper. Yeah. Mm. So mm. yeah. So s the city is very much involved mm. in that as well. So that's a really good point. Thank mm -hmm. you for bringing that up. Yep. So once I meet with them, I'll come back um, our, in our next meeting and share that information with everyone. All right. Okay, so that's all that I had for updates for um, the housing report. Um, so we can move on to um, agenda item F number two, which is discussion on next topics or initiatives for the Equal Rights Commission. So as I stated earlier, what we want to do is um, have a point person from the ERC continue to monitor and work on the housing initiative. And then we also want to continue to keep the momentum going for our ERC and work on different initiatives. Mm -hmm. Um, Stephanie and I met, we strategized a little bit, I met with Joe, I spoke to Hutchinson a little bit, um, now I want the input from all of the commissioners here, and the idea is, I'm going to just drop a few ideas, but I really want to hear your input and if you have other ideas. So Stephanie brought up the idea that um, a lot of community members and organizations still don't know that we exist, so John and I thought we could have a visibility initiative where we engage a little bit with the, not just a little bit, we engage a lot with community and attend their events, speak at their events, host an open house so people could come visit us and know who we are, um, join you know school or college events, like NWTC, they host their MLK Day yeah. events, things like that. Um, so those are some, some things that we can do to really get um, our name out into the community. 
Um, second idea that I had, um, which might be a far stretch, and other organizations are already working on it, maybe we could collaborate, um, but an ADEI pledge. So work with community organizations and um, put them up on, you know, on our city website. I don't know if that's legal, but say these organizations are the ones that are supporting DEI work around the city, right? Mm -hmm. So Calling that, out. yep. So highlighting, you know, the good work that they're doing. Um, the next thing is um, to hopefully, I don't know if this is too far of a stretch either, Joe, but um, I spoke a little bit to Ahmad about it, to dedicate some, some certain days for the, margin, the long-standing marginalized communities here, our Hispanic Latino community, Asian American, African American, and Black communities. Um, at the start of each of their heritage months, have a day specified to, to launch that month. Something like that, just to recognize them and amplify the, their communities, right? And all the good that they do for our community. And I know that we have smaller populations that mm -hmm. don't exactly mm -hmm. fit into those, but we'll work on that as we move down, move on. Yep. Um, but these are the long-standing marginalized communities. Um, another thing is um, we're working on the website to, uh, to update the website. And, um, and so, one, I'm asking from all the commissioners if you can send me a three to four sentence bio and your professional photo or headshot um, and Alter Hutchison. I don't know if we, do we add Hutchison into that? Okay, yeah. yes, you too. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think yours is already up on the council. Yeah. So we can use that if you want, but. I think something new. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if everyone can send that to me by Friday, this, I believe the 17th. I'm gonna share that back with our tech communications um, person, staff member and she's gonna update the website with that. So Friday, March 17th, if you guys can get that back to me. Okay, photo, so and, photo and bio. Yeah, three to four sentences. Yeah. Um, and hopefully with the website, um, we're gonna be able to add our initiatives that we're working on, the report, links to the report, and add a little bit more information so that it could be a one-stop resource sp mm -hmm. um, spot for the community and us. Um, it'll have the guide to how to file a complaint for housing, employment, public accommodations, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, it'll have, um, and we, we're going to have the law department, once they're less congested with <laughs> things <laughs> on their plates, um, we're going to have them start working on compiling information from the ordinance um, about um, anti-discriminatory things. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're working on that. Um, time frame might be three to four months out. Um, and hopefully, in the summertime, we'll be able to have a person um, take the place of where Raya was. Um, I forget the title, the specific title for that. It's the Workplace Culture Specialist. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Once we have this position filled, then we'll be able to get um, things done a little bit um, quicker. Because right now, it's all in Joe's hand. <laughs> so, yeah, he has a lot on his plate. So, hopefully, during the summertime, we'll get the website updated a little bit faster. But right now, bios and photos, please. Okay. And sorry, everyone online too, please, if you guys can send me that, that'd be great. Who do we get this to? You can send it to me. Okay. Yep, directly to me, and then I'll send it to Shelby and Joe. Thank you. I'm going to wait until I get all of them, Joe. Yep, and then that just send good. it to you once. So you don't Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. However you want to send it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then also another thing that I wanted to add to the website um, is to get some data and metrics on there. Like the, I believe it's the um, EMI. I don't know if it's. Yeah, EMI, the Equality Index score up there uh, on the yeah. website. I mean, we improved a lot. That's yeah. something to highlight. Yeah, yeah to we know. should sure. have yeah. sure. the previous mm -hmm. last right. couple of years, and then something big happened, and all of a sudden our scores are a lot better. So exactly, like the existence of this commission really helped. Yeah, yeah. And I believe I remember way earlier um, during the initial meetings that we had, Joe brought up some metrics about like or data on like the staffing that we mm -hmm. that we have in the city, things like that. Yeah. You know, should be transparent and visible for our community to see. Um, but we'll work on the the, the low hanging things first, yeah. and then we'll get we'll work our way to that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so those are some of the ideas that I had um, for visibility. 
but I would love to hear from the rest of the commissioners, um, or I should look that way, the rest of the <laughs> commissioner <laughs> partners, um, to see what you guys think would be um, good to how we can engage with the community. Is there um, a spreadsheet or a list of existing uh, projects or future projects that have uh, low-income housing part of their project? Um, because I find, um, like, when I'm in the plan commission or whatever, if it's a project and it has any low-income housing on it, I'm for it. I'm just, we're, we're, we need that room so bad. And um, there's a lot of potential pushback on that. It, do, it just doesn't happen. And I think if we had a list of things coming up, it might be good to have someone there just to listen as to what's going on and uh, maybe help the situation. I don't know. I don't know if that'd be a question probably for economic development. Yeah, so, but yeah, you we know. can look into it and see. I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, yeah. could you ask Neil and then yep. get back to me? I I really like that because um, it's nice to have friends in the audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know if this is gonna open. Under a box, and it's going to be super complicated or not. But something that I took out of that meeting that we went to City Council is that tension when the issue of the police surveillance mm -hmm. came up. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, again, I, I think that if we can look, if we can think about ways of, um, you know, facilitating conversations. Right. I mean, because that point in the in the circle, I mean, it diverted from what we were putting together, but it created a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when when the chief of police was addressed and he had to respond to those questions, but would you say that you specifically survey? You know, because I cannot believe, and this is unconstitutional. And I mean, it, I mean, the tension was like, and I was like, okay, going back to housing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, I was thinking, this is certainly an issue. Uh, and depending on where you are in the spectrum of the experience, you're seeing those relationships differently. And if, as a, as, a, as a commission, if we could in any way facilitate sitting people around a table and, and facilitating conversations around that, you know, because I mean, in the report, um, there were claims uh, that part of those problems arise for maybe cultural misunderstanding, you know, what is for a community to play loud music versus another, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, 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 you know, like how I keep my yard or how a neighbor perceives that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if we could in any way establish, you know, or, or educate or put set people, I don't know. I mean, I think that, as I said, this is a major issue, but, um, but I mean, I think that, for instance, I, I think that in the past, uh, uh, I attended several meetings that with the former chief of police and um, the Sam Wilbert that they facilitated on issues of immigration. And, you know, the room was packed. Everybody wanted, and, you know, and, the, and he was very candid about, you know, drinking and driving or if you're, you know, like, there are certain orders that officers have that they're gonna stop your car if they see that your lights are not functioning. And you know, I mean, so I think that it was a very good, you know, way of saying, you know, and, and I was thinking, well, maybe we have to do this with more communities and with more people, you know, where we're, we're, there is food and there's police officers and nobody has to be afraid mm -hmm. and then everybody, you know, says, well, in my neighborhood this is happening, you know, and the police can also, you know, put together their, I don't know, I don't mm -hmm. know if you think that this is worth attempting or, or is just going to be super complicated. Well, I, I, think it, I think it is. Um, our police chief Davis is a good police chief in the sense that he wants to do the right thing. 
and he, I think, would be open to receiving input and maybe have ideas on how to structure it with the police department and having meetings, you know. I think he would really be open to that. So if, if this commission would like to target that, uh, to try to uh, facilitate communication between different communities within our community with the police chief and under the uh, our auspice or someone else's just so it happens I think definitely the police department would be part of that yeah I think that um, that would be great I think that would be something that would partner with organizations yeah who be doing that work. Yeah. Um, because I, I believe there are conversations like YWCA you know they host like um, a racism um, event every year um, and they they do facilitate conversations in some forums or seminars so maybe we can suggest that idea um, mm -hmm. to, to host um, an event that that has tough conversations yeah. mm -hmm. right or something like that mm -hmm. I don't you know I don't think it's too complicated yeah. mm -hmm. um, and I think it would get a lot of um, attraction from the public mm -hmm. um, but I think yes we definitely would um, like we would have to collaborate with that because yes. again you know our commission we're not here to to recreate the wheel yeah but um, we're here to support and highlight the work that's already be being done yeah. Yeah. so if you guys have any idea of organizations that are already doing the work please compile the list and then send that forward yeah. and then we'll um, add that in to um, to review as a possible initiative yeah, yeah uh, I, I mean to me it was a little bit surprising because um, I think that those lines in the report were in uh, testimonies that mm -hmm. we heard. Mm -hmm. And there was a question in that that actually happened, happened yes. right? And, and I, I want to take that everybody was speaking honestly, mm -hmm. but, you know, I mean, that questioning is like, well, maybe, maybe there has to be more education and more conversations about that. Right. And how how certain communities perceive certain things from. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I was just very like, that moment of the entire discussion really was. Uh, and, and I think, you know, they have, the police department has always been very open to yeah. that. Um, I mean, we have attended a couple of, you know, meetings through San Will of Rosa, then mm -hmm. we did another one on the Bellevue because they were stopping a lot of cars, you know, in the, mm -hmm. on the Bellevue and many, Hispanics actually moved out of the Bellevue Park, the, um, yeah. the mm -hmm. park, you know, yeah, the, park, the trailer park, the trailer there, park yeah. because it was amazing the amount of people that they were stopped, yeah. you know, and, and mm -hmm. we, we, you know, Casado had to bring it up, we had a meeting, you know, and they are very open yeah. to that, and uh, they definitely stopped being so, I mean, targeting, you know, because yes. it, was, it was incredible, people, yeah. they were just actually moving out of that area. So, um, so that I think, but yeah. I, I agree that it should be by, by, um, how you say, by a specific race, yes. maybe you want to say, you know, because everybody has their own, so mm -hmm. if we can, I, I mean, not to have one big collaboration, but I think because everybody has to learn from their communities, yeah. you know, and each if it's going to be different. meaningful, yes. 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 yes, so I think, but I think they're very open, you know, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, Things like you say, you know, they need to be spoken and mm. you know understood. And but yeah, I think that would be a great idea to do it. Yeah, that's a really great idea. So I jotted that down as an initiative. And what we'll do is um, we'll gather and brainstorm ideas today, okay. um, and then throughout the next couple of weeks, you, you send me your ideas or send me a little bit more solidified um, plans of what you guys would like to see, and then. We'll discuss it in the next meeting and actually decide on what initiatives we are going to take on and tackle. Because some of them, you know, are initiatives that we can complete within a month or two, and then we can move on to the next, right? Mm -hmm. um, and <coughs> and so, um, yeah, the the more ideas we get, the better. So that's a really great idea. I, I like that. I, I have that down on record. So we'll add that. For the I think, like you say, to have more visibility, it'd be good to you know to uh, be part of. Um, I don't know if you want to say like um, fairs or something, you know, mm -hmm. something where we can actually kind of, if you want to have a booth, if you want to say, you mm -hmm. know, like sometimes a police department, they come, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, something like that so that we, we are out there, you know, that they know that we exist. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, 
be more visible, like you say? Yeah, um, absolutely. That's a great point. Anyone online have any suggestions? I'm back there. <laughs> 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 Sorry, my leg is so in my head. Nothing, nothing else from me. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? Is there anywhere where we could write? Um, I mean, do you think that it would help to make some kind of like a sheet where we can maybe put as we go? Because I feel like sometimes we have ideas, we don't jot them down, and maybe we can put them so you can see them and I don't know, somewhere like a so spreadsheet or something? Uh, so we're, un yeah, we're not able to do that because okay. that's called a walking quorum. So okay. it's. Uh, yeah, we had that we have to go by the um, the Roberts rules or okay. public record rules. Yes. And so we have to, we just have to be careful. I can I can keep a list. Sure. Okay. So I can have that master list. Perfect. So if you have a question, you can come to me and yeah. ask me, and I'll be able to share that okay. to you. Yeah. But um, as a group, we just can't keep that that um, working document going okay. and floating around. Okay. But that's a good question. Good question. Yeah. yeah. That's a really great question. Um, all right. Any any other suggestions? I mean, you don't you don't have to say it today, but mm -hmm. feel free to email me in the next couple of weeks. Um, before, preferably before we have our next meeting. Yeah. Um, Joe usually will get the the agenda done the Friday before our next meeting. So I'm just gonna look at that real quick. Our next meeting is um, on the 13th. So if you guys can get your information to me or ideas to me before the 7th, April 7th. April 13th? Yep, April 13th is our meeting. meeting. Mm -hmm. But then Joe usually sends out the agenda the Friday before, <coughs> so the Friday before the okay. 7th. I'll be out of state, but I'll try to attend. Oh, time. no, okay. Well, I'll connect with you to see what your input is. Okay. Yeah, because we should have a list compiled before. Yeah. Anything else before we move on? All right, so if there's nothing else, then I'm gonna move into the chair update, um, which is gonna be super simple because I already gave half of it out <laughs> while I was talking. So let me see my notes here. Um, Okay, so I already said everything because it was basically the website stuff. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to also let you guys know that if you guys are looking, um, if you guys are interested in at looking at your terms and how long you're serving or how many terms you've already served, you, you should be able to see that on the commissioner, um, on the Equal Rights Commission website. It should show your term and the year that it's um, done or that your term is over. Okay. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And then I do have a full roster of everyone as well, so I can answer specific questions if you guys have that. And then also, um, has everyone had a chance to um, review the, the Equal Rights Ordinance over again? It's always good to retouch it after we complete, not complete, I mean, the housing initiative is not complete, <laughs> but after we, you know, after so long, it, yeah. you know, after an initiative has started, it's good to always review that. So I really encourage you guys to go back if you guys don't have that link, I'll, I'll resend that out to you. Um, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be back by April 13th. I'm just so excited I'm going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> vacation forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mar it's mm -hmm. March, right? Yeah, yeah I'll be yeah, back by March. April 13th, yeah. You um, and that's all that I had for an update, but um, before we move forward, I just wanted to get a motion to open the floor in case our guest has anything to say, and I also want you to introduce yourself. So can I get a motion to open the floor? Move. Okay. Okay. Second. Perfect. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Thank you. All right. Um, so the floor is open. So I'd love for you to introduce yourself, um, your association, and any input or insight that you'd like to share with our Yeah, group. absolutely. So my name is Gloria Eastman. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, theirs. Um, I'm a trans non-binary person that lives here in the city of Green Bay. Um, I've 
grew up here, went to East High School, all that good stuff. Um, so a long-time resident. Um, I've had a whole slew of different experiences with a whole lot of different people uh, throughout the course of my life. Um, so I'm always happy to um, lend perspective in anything that I can. Um, organizations that I'm involved with, I am working on getting a tenants union up and running. Um, and I, uh, you know, attend a few other political things here and there. So I uh, am always here to help. Perfect. And um, you also spoke at the city council mm -hmm. meeting, so yeah. thank you for that. I'm always happy to enter comment when there ever is anything that is uh, equality based or uh, diversity and inclusion based, especially if it affects the queer community. I'm always happy to um, reach out and speak on that. Perfect. Thank you. And um, with the website, we also are updating it to have a link so public can enter comments or any any insight that you have. So you can also feel free to do that. Sure. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us today. Appreciate thank you for it. having me. I appreciate the invite. And Great. then we uh, have uh -huh. quick question: Are you lined up to be part of the housing discussion task force? Nobody has asked me to, but I certainly am happy to, to okay. uh, let my perspective. <laughs> Um, or if, you know, if there's like a slot where it's any one of the three of us that are working on okay. the um, union um, can come and sit in that meeting, that'd be great. But uh, you know, if it's just me, that's fine too. Now we have some landlords that are on the list, and I'd like to add your name to the yeah. tenant portion of it. One hundred percent. We need balance, and yeah. so I think um, we have listed some very good people, and this is awesome that you're here and, and doing that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. good. Well, uh, we are in our infancy um, with the union, but uh, we are working on it and anything we can do to help people that um, are having like, like we are a little bit more of an appropriate contact for people that are having issues where they are in conflict with their landlord um, because like we we can help with some advice and we can point them towards resources and those kinds of things because mm -hmm. um, that is the scope mm -hmm. of the union. So okay, good. always happy to have somebody look us up on the Facebook. <laughs> good, good. All right, and I noticed we had someone online. I'm not too sure who LGH is. I don't know if you wanted to introduce yourself or just, you're just here to listen. Feel free to unmute yourself. Um, so, um, well, thank you again for being yes. here. Thank, thank you. you again, all the commissioners, for um, really, really making an impact with that housing initiative. I just can't thank you all enough. Joe, the staff, with, you guys are so amazing. Elder Hutchison, thanks for standing up for, yeah. for the initiative during the meetings. Um, and I just really appreciate everyone's effort and time that you committed to it. So we're going to continue to work on that initiative and hopefully um, get some more traction moving forward. And if you guys want to give me more practice on um, uh, putting the minutes together, we do a motion to close the floor so that I can get from there too. I don't think we have to, right? But do um, we oh, yeah, yeah, we, we usually do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we have to close floor. Oh, well, hold on. Does yeah. anyone else have any other comments? Yeah, let's do it after. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, um, just thank you, everybody. Um, I've, I'm learning from you guys, every single one of you, including you, and you're at the meeting speaking. Um, I think it's really important that we have more diversity in the community. Yeah. Um, and I think that you guys have done that. Yeah. 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 As I had said a million times before, bodies at these meetings, even this one and the big one, are what literally gets them to hear us. Because if not, they're going off on their assumptions and we all know how catastrophic that can be. So if you can bring a friend to these meetings, okay. you know, it, these, that's what these are for, right? And Absolutely. so I'm really excited to be working with Tara and everybody who's on here. And I'm hoping I can see more people because the more variation of ideas like the one that you just said that one completely flew by me but it didn't at the meeting no. like at the meeting that moment for me was really like tense and even yeah. more when e like you went and talked to him after i mean iliana she went and spoke to them because it was surprising a little bit uh -huh. to, to hear some of the responses from people who are normally on our side and i think like you said it's just that disconnect mm -hmm. so i'm excited to maybe even help facilitate that because she's true she said it's truth we can't solve the problem but we can definitely be advocates mm -hmm. and i remember mm -hmm. at one of the meetings someone said you know they had a landlord issue and we while we can't fix it we can definitely write that letter or you know make that phone call check in sometimes it just needs to come from someone somebody else and i think that's what we are we're the messenger and so mm -hmm. thank you guys for for being here and, and giving that message so 
All right, anyone else have anything to share with the, the community members who are here? Then I'm gonna ask for a motion to close the floor. All right, there you go. Second. I move. All right, all in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, so the floor is closed. Um, and we really don't have anything else except just um, to notify you guys of the next meeting, which I stated a few times. I'm gonna go back and look. Thursday, April 13th. That's the next meeting. I'm going to be here. He's <laughs> going to be here, but I won't. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a conference that I'm attending. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. I might be able to join um, uh, remotely, but I'm not sure because I'm flying and, you know, mm -hmm. the weather. <laughs> Maybe I'll be stuck yeah. in an airport. Yeah, no problem. That's okay. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, and if anyone else has any issues or problems with that, that date, please feel free to reach out. Um, but yeah, I believe that's all. Um, Joe, do you have anything else to, else to add? Mm -hmm. Stephanie or right. any other commissioners? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move that we adjourn. Second. All right, all in favor? All right. All, all, right. Opposed? all right, so the meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Just out of curiosity, when did